cardoons are really, really fun to cook with if you can find them. You might have to call around some local farmers and try to figure out who's growing some funky stuff and maybe you can come across some. I don't know of any markets. I would assume there are some in New York and Chicago and San Francisco and LA that would maybe have them. Here in Minnesota, there are only a couple farmers that I know of that grow these things. And I've tried to grow them myself. I know that you can, but they were a little tricky and mine died. But if you find some, first the problem will be to kind of find some. Once you find some, how on earth do you cook with this thing? And they're kind of tricky, so I'm going to give you a rundown because the first thing you got to do is protect yourself. If you can see, there's little spines. They're really small. They're all over. These little needles are the like these are like the most painful things in the world, and they will stick in your skin, and they will be incredibly painful, like the worst sliver. So I like to take a towel, and I like to wrap the cardoon in a towel with my hand like this. The first thing I want to do is cut it into some manageable pieces. So you can see this root here. There's a root. First I'm going to cut the root off. And I can just throw, throw that away. Next I want to cut these stalks. I'll trim these up a little bit and I'll kind of go at the top. I'll go at the top here and just kind of trim off any ends that don't look good and just kind of trim it to make it to make it into a nicer shape that's easier to work with. And now I'm probably going to cut them one more time just to make them be really careful if you touch these. I'm going to cut them one more time just so I can hold them in my hand. And now quickly I'm going to gather up the cardoons and I'm going to dip them. I'm going to dip these cut ends just into a bit of lemon water just real quick to make it so they don't brown. I'll do the same with the bottom half and the bottom part itself. The lemon water is going to stop the cardoons from coloring or turning brown and that can be kind of a problem. From here you want to take your rib of cardoon and I'll put it in a towel so that I can get a better angle here. And what you're going to want to do is I like to peel this part off first and you're going to peel with a knife. And you can kind of see, you want to get this white, this white part off. That's what you want to get. And it has ribs, just like celery, which will kind of stick in your teeth if you don't take them off. But be careful not to take off too much. Like there, I took off way too much with that one. That's okay. Now, you want to scrape the other side. Sometimes it will just kind of peel. Most of the time, you're going to have to kind of scrape it.
that's pretty good. So when they look about like this, and I can trim up a little bit more. Now you got to put them back into the lemon water. And then you just keep doing that and repeat. And once you have all your cardoons in your water, and they're all cut, then you can cut them into any shape you'd like. You could cut them into big chunks like this, and then you gotta braise these. You're gonna have to cook these for like 15, 20 minutes until they get nice and soft, and they'll kinda taste like an artichoke. You could do it like that, or you could cut them into smaller pieces like this. Then you could take these and cook these down in wine with a little bit of garlic and some oil, and then put them into a salad, or they're really excellent with fish. And you gotta cook them for a long time, but once they're cooked, they're gonna be tender, they're gonna be creamy, they're gonna taste like artichokes, they're gonna be great. They also go really good with cream. So, there you go. There's how to clean a cardoon.